Hello, happy Children's Day. Welcome to SKS School class with me. My name is Chef Muse and we're going to be having fun making pepperoni pizza and shawarma. Are you ready? So our ingredients today is flour, olive oil, basil, some fresh basil leaf because they look so good. Yeah, we have pepperoni, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, warm water, salt, sugar, black pepper, oregano and yeast. First thing we're going to do now is to put the warm water in the bowl. Yes and the sugar and we're going to add the one tablespoon of yeast whisk we're going to whisk everything together to make sure the sugar and the yeast dissolve together we have to cover it and let it sit for five minutes so it can activate very fast so we're going to set it aside the next step is to put your dough on your work surface. Make sure that the work surface is very clean. So we're going to make a well into it, just like how you're, going, you're making your play dough. So you have to be very playful about it because pizza is what is fun. You make it while you're playing. It's not something you have to do with all, you know, seriousness. Yeah. So our salt, you mix the salt with the flour. We mix the flour with the salt and now we're just going to make a well here. So the next step now is to check on our yeast. It's five minutes already. Let's go. An easy step for you to know that your yeast is very, very active. See the way it's looking, bubbling and all that. So yeah, I'm going to mix it with my flour. So mix it. Don't be afraid to get messy, all right? So mix the yeast into the flour. So you're going to need and need. Don't be afraid to get your hands messy. That's part of the fun of making pizza. But you can also add a little bit of olive oil as well to help with the tenderness of your dough, about a tablespoon. So the next step we're going to do now is to grease our bowl with a little bit of olive oil. Place the dough in it, cover it with cling film, leave it to rest for like 30 minutes. So 30 minutes later, this is what you get. So we have to dust the work surface with a lot of flour. See? Like this. Pull the dough out. Can you see? So it's time for us to knock out the air. Yeah? So you have a very soft, smooth and pliable dough. You don't really need a rolling pin when you're making your dough, yeah? Your hands can actually do the work for you, like this. You roll it around, stretch, like that. Play around with it, yeah? So the next thing we're going to do now is to get the parchment paper on the tray. Whatever it is that you're doing, never forget to put your pizza dough on where you want to bake it before putting the topping. So just lift it gently and place it on the parchment paper. Don't even be afraid if you don't get a very nice round pizza shape, it's fine. So next is to add a tomato sauce. Yeah, so spread it around. Be generous with it. Bit first before putting the toppings. Mix everything, mix everything more fun. Okay? So, after that, I'm going to arrange my pepperoni. More cheese. So, the next thing we're going to do now is to add a little bit of oregano. Yes, for flavor. Some black pepper and a drizzle of olive oil. I hope you're excited. You're just as excited as I am because it's so cute. Let's go. So our pizza cooking is going to be there for like eight to 10 minutes. 
So for that time, we're going to use it to make our shawarma. Ingredients for the shawarma is like, this is, we need the flat bread, sausage, chicken, we have some garlic in here, cumin, chili, we have cayenne pepper, if you want a little bit of heat, salt, black pepper, some lettuce, cabbage, cucumber, tomatoes. In fact, it's a wrap actually, so just put whatever it is that you want. Make it fun. So I'm going to use the same pan to saute the sausage and the chicken before we start putting every other thing together. A little bit of olive oil to add it. Add a little bit of black pepper to it. So saute it a little bit. So after we have that ready, I'm going to get a plate from here and pop the sausage in there. The next thing we're going to do now is to saute our chicken breast. Just a little bit more oil. And I'm adding the chicken breast. We're just going to saute it a little bit. A little bit of black pepper some cayenne, a little bit of cumin, and salt to taste. First off is I have lettuce in here, I have some cucumber and some red cabbage. So we don't want too much of that, it's already clean, yeah? So I'm going to slice it. So because we want inside to be, you know, colorful, we're adding all the fun stuff. So when you take a bite, you're going to see how beautiful inside is looking. Yeah, look at it. So you see that we're having a really nice color from the chicken. We're going to slide some cucumber. And if you like some tomatoes, you can add it to it as well. If you're not a fan of it, it's okay, it's not a problem. You can leave it if you don't want it. It's fine. But make sure that they are really nice. So we're just putting all these ones for the nice color. So we're ready to start assembling our wrap. So I'm transferring the griddle pan here because that's what we're going to use to seal it when it's ready. But if you don't have a griddle pan at home, it's fine. Just use your normal saute pan, something like this. And once you don't roll in, you place the seal side down so that it's going to what? seal it. You have the flat bread, you always cover it because if you allow air gets into it, it's just going to dry out and it will be very difficult for you to roll up, okay? So I'm just going to open it like this so that I can have enough space to put all the foam stuff in there. You place the first one down and this other one here, so it's going to help you to like seal everything together. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to add my chicken. A lot of chicken. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my cucumbers. I'm trying to add a lot of fun stuff into it, so I'm hoping it looks very nice, yeah? The sausage, hmm, it's going to be a very massive shawarma. Little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomatoes. I love tomatoes, I'm sorry. If you don't like tomatoes, you can take it out, no problem. So now I'm going to add mayo and a little bit of ketchup. So the first thing you're going to do is to secure this place and then you put everything in like that and you seal it up. So now it's time for us to put it on the pan. Like I said, working with kids, the kitchen can be messy, it's allowed, all right? So now our shawarma is ready. I'm just going to take it out, yeah. And slice it. Look at it, all the fun stuff in there, yeah? I'm going to, you know, roll it in this paper. Yep, like this. So that when you're eating it, you won't have, you know, all that messiness in your hands. 
second one. Look at it. Yeah? Now it's time for us to take out the pillar from the room. It's time it already. Yep! Ta da! Pizza is ready. Now we're going to drop some fresh basil leaf on top for extra flavor. Yay! Pizza! Our shawarma is ready. Lovely family treat that you can share with your friends. Thank you for joining me today. See you some other time and happy Children's Day! Bye!